Look at this experiment. Scientists fire a beam of photons into a device called a beam splitter, which sends a single photon into two possible paths. At the end of these paths, they place two detectors to check where the photon ends up. This setup is one of the best ways scientists have to make a single photon behave as if it is split into two paths. But here is the strange part. If scientists try to measure the photon on one path, the other path instantly disappears. The moment a measurement is made, the two paths collapse into one outcome, and the detector suddenly records a full photon on just one side. This effect is deeply connected to non-locality. It seems as if both paths of the photon know about each other, and choosing to measure one path immediately eliminates the other, even if the two paths are extremely far apart. This opens up some of the deepest questions about the nature of reality. Before we measure it, is a photon truly in two states at the same time? Some of the puzzles in, in this experiment that the individual photon really presents you with. Yeah, well, I think that uh, at the end, the only thing I can do is once again invoke non-locality. That is to say, I think of the single photon wave packet as being split on the beam splitter. So now I have half a wave packet on the right and half of the wave packet on the left. But if I merge on the right, if I detect the photon on the right, instantaneously the other wave packet collapses to zero. 